But take it away, Darren. Yes. Now, I want to show you this tweet from Elon Musk in which he says what Hamza Youssef had said in the chamber. It's a few years ago now, but he's, he was talking about white people in positions of power of, or influence in Scotland under his brief as, as he was justice minister at the time. I think we've got that tweet to show you. Yeah, there it is right now. It was an account tweeted out this video of Hamza Youssef basically using the word white with such venom and vitriol that you start to wonder what on earth does he have against people with white skin? Skin color to the extent where Elon Musk, who of course is the, fa- the now the owner of Twitter, now X, and he says, "What a blatant racist!" And do you know what? I couldn't agree more. Now, Hamza useless, uh, Yusuf, sorry, I beg your pardon. I think actually continues to show that he does have a form of prejudice because I would love to see him sit down with lads from council estates in parts of Glasgow, tenements or council flats, whatever it might be, sit down with these white people and say to them, you are inherently privileged because of the colour of your skin. Perhaps their parents are hooked on drugs, maybe alcohol, maybe they didn't read school, being able to read and write as well as other kids throughout the rest of the United Kingdom could. And he has the gall to turn around and say that your skin colour means that you are inherently privileged in some way or that your whiteness is a problem that needs to be curtailed. I think it's a damn disgrace and any politician doing it should be called out for doing so. Because can you imagine, right? Can you imagine if Kemi Badnock, who is now Trade Secretary, if she stood up in the House of Commons and she said, look, I think there are far too many black people perhaps in positions of power. Do you think she would get away with that? Do you think they'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's perfectly sensible. That makes sense. Why not? That's perfectly acceptable to say. Do you think the Benjamin Butterworths of the world would be clapping like a door and seals? <laughs> I don't think they absolutely would. So you've got to ask yourself at a time when Hamza Youssef is facing defections from the SNP, I think there's going to be a widespread defection away from his party. It's divisive. He belittles people. He is a race baiter. And I think ultimately he's going to be punished in the polls for saying all of this Mm. nonsense. Mm. Emily Carver, Hamza Youssef, are you a fan? Well, I mean, clearly at the moment he's having trouble because I believe he has family in Gaza. Gaza, So my heart goes out to him in that respect because he's obviously worrying about his family. But back to his politics, he is absolutely dreadful. You know, people have analysed his policies and the way he acted as Justice Minister and found him to be rather wanting in terms of talent and ability and application. I can't believe, you know, this is the, you know, he's been over-promoted to the max. It's quite astonishing. But that speech you were referring to that he gave is actually shocking. And it gets shared around social media quite a lot um, when he refers, he refers to all the positions within the government, yeah. doesn't he? And says, white. Well, like yeah. he's fuming at the fact that there are white people in positions of power. Why shouldn't there be? I mean, last time Why I checked. Why shouldn't there be? Also, Humza Youssef is now First Minister of Scotland. And we've got Rishi Sunak as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what he's so, so bothered he's about. Exactly. I mean, Benjamin says the police force are woke. He was Justice Minister, for goodness sake. The idea that the police force aren't woke is, is absolutely bizarre. But Ben, I want to ask... I remember when he tripped over on a scooter. Well, that was quite the amusing. The yes. remove the video. Yes, yes, I do so remember that. He's called Hamza useless for a reason. I want to ask, though, do you actually think that Scotland are going to turn around and say, look, we've had enough of the SNP. It's been since 2007 they've been in government. Yeah. Have they had their day? Well, look at Scotland's record. They've got the worst drugs death rate in Europe. Yeah. The attainment gap is uh, catastrophic. It's bigger than it's ever been. They're failing on all fronts. Their NHS is crumbling. And Darren, do you know, or Benjamin, do you know what the, uh, the population of, of white people is in Scotland? It's like 96%. 96%. So can you imagine, Hamza Youssef is of Pakistani origin. Could you imagine going to Pakistan, standing up in their parliament and saying, Home Affairs Minister, Pakistani, Environment Minister, 
Pakistani, Deputy M, De- Deputy PM, Pakistani. Of course they're going to be Pakistani because you, it's you the majority Pakistani. You appear to be confusing ethnicity country. and nationality. They're all Scottish. The question is their race. They'd all be Pakistani in Pakistan. The question would be their race. But why do they have to be of a certain colour? But the oh, point should, is... Should we not judge people on their, on their skills? I mean, look, and, and their, you know, there's their no ability. bigger race baiter than Darren. Uh, and that's exactly what that his monologue true. was. No, it was Sorry, appalling. That is, because that is not fair. What you don't understand is that it's not saying that a white person has... Uh, a privileged life to say that they have a privilege over someone who is black or from some other ethnic minorities. It's saying that if those two people were born into a council estate with, you know, drug addicted parents or something like the scenario you describe, the black kid is going to have even fewer chances and greater prejudice and barriers faced. I'm to sorry, them white working class children are the most, the most, the most underprivileged in this country. Though, exactly. For black and ethnic minority kids to tell them that whatever they do, they're not going to be treated in the same way as a white person because it doesn't. It, it, in the statistics and actually looking at the facts, that does not hold up. Asian kids are doing extremely well. Black African kids are doing extremely well. Chinese are doing extremely well. Jewish kids are doing extremely well. White working class kids are the ones that are failing at the bottom of the pile at the moment, unfortunately, at least when it comes to education and university. But they, the, you missed so, my point, no, Emily. No, 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 because no, I, I just don't agree with it. No, they face barriers because of their race, irrespective of the other things. But hang Let on, me a give white you an example. May, may face a barrier when they go for a job that is 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 uh, is, try, is trying to choose ethnic minority candidates first or prioritising them. Them. But well, that's trying to remove it's barriers. It's not Look, let me, let, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. White working class kids. So answer that question that Emily put to you. What's the why question? is it? Why is it then that you're, you're able to turn around and say, well, this is all a nonsense because if you're if you're born black in Britain in a disadvantaged community, you're not likely to do very well in, mm. in life, perhaps, or in school. But actually, the stats don't bear that out. The stats say what? that, but compared to work, white working class kids. Kids are doing all right if they come from ethnic First minority First of all, I said some ethnic minorities, because among ethnic minorities, there are people that way excel, Indians being prime among them, right? They, they have some of the highest average incomes and most successful uh, salaries and, and careers. I but, but can I just give you an example? Which it's is not the Edward... right rhetoric for modern Britain. Modern Britain isn't as you are talking. People have opportunities regardless of their race. It's also a victim mentality.